the properties characterizing a power supply include the input and output signals, which typically are voltages, but in rare cases also can be currents. For example, from a solar cell, you would get an DC input current, or when driving a light emitting diode, you would provide a DC output current. Otherwise, the voltages can either be DC or AC, then they are characterized by their amplitude, and in terms of AC also by which frequency range the inputs and outputs can cover. A very characterizing parameter is the amount of output power the power supply can provide, and in most applications the efficiency plays a great role for selecting what topology we want to use. Some applications require an isolation and other converters are fine with being non-isolated as a buck and a boost where a flyback provides an isolation through its transformer. In this exercise, you can design a flyback transformer for the peak rectified European AC mains and that flyback converter is supposed to convert down to 50 volts at a specific duty cycle and a switching frequency. The transformer is specified in a way that its current on the primary side shall not exceed 2 amps. What inductance do we need on the primary side? And what inductance do we need for the secondary winding? 